Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to crush some safety shoes and we are going to use our load cell so we can measure how strong they are. And we are going to crush expensive one and cheap one. These are about 200 euros and those are about 40 euros. So these are five times more expensive. At least these are much more comfortable to wear. But let's see are they any safer. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a great way to protect your online activity. So it's a bit like safety shoes for your internet. And with my special code you can get now 75% off from 3 year plan. So that's only 2.99 per month. But more about that later. Let's start with the plant tool test. And after this we are going to also try with spike after 5 million. Yep, and I decided that we have to try with regular booth also. So this is just regular rubber booth, no safety features at all. And it's full of play do. <laughs> so I think play do is pretty close to your like average feet. <laughs> Only the bones are missing. Missing, but uh, let's see how hard this is. Doesn't look good if you ask me. And let's see how how you are doing here. Ugh, that's going to leave Mark. Yeah, and I didn't like. I think you saw on the video what was the force on each step. I didn't took any like measurement at the point when I think that the foot is lost, but. This is like good warning what happens if you don't use any safety boots. Yep, and then the cheap safety boot. And I think I'm going to crush it really slowly until it's gone in like one centimeter or half an inch. And then we are going to check how much of force that took. And that's the result. And then we are going to just crush it all the way in. But first just one centimeter. I think we are about now on the point where it's like failed and it's about, how, what is the maximum? Two tons. But uh, let's continue. Yeah, and now it's cracked the... I think that's... I'm not sure if that's steel or aluminium. I think I have to take magnet and test. But the maximum force that we used was 40 tons. And at least with that, it doesn't matter do you have safety shoes or not. <laughs> but let's see if the expensive one is any better. And then the expensive one... I think they are exactly the same, because again two tons, and I think this is about the same spot to stop than with the last one. But uh, yeah, let's say uh, let's continue if it somehow gets harder as we go. Oh, oh, it 
bomb's going to explode. Yeah, and I have to say that this shoe sounded tougher. The sound was totally different. And uh, let's see the end result. Holy shit! Check this! It was plastic shoe. He thought that the cheaper one is going to be made out of plastic, but it was the more expensive one. Let's use the grinder against this to find out is it truly plastic. I'm a bit surprised. I thought that it might be like aluminium, but it's, it's some kind of plastic, probably maybe like polycarbonate or something like really hard plastic. Really interesting. The plastic was just as strong as the steel ones. Nothing, nothing lost on that side, but it was 30% lighter, so maybe that's why these are more comfortable to wear than the cheap ones, because they are lighter. But I'm really surprised. Yep, and then the ultimate safety soul test. This is like the worst case scenario for your feet ever. And we are not sure can I get the shoe out from there when the test is done. So this might be the last test. <laughs> but we try to test the both shoes. And on this test, we are going to measure the force when these bikes are inside of this plate. So they have to go all the way through the shoe. And here we go. Uh oh uh, The spikes are bending. The steel cap is too much for the spikes. I think we have to stop this here and clear this shoe winner for the this test. And then we are going to put the other one in and we'll see if the plastic cap is enough to bend also the things. Yep, so new shoe is in and I remove the uh, damaged spike and the force that we used was 800 kilos. And here we go. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. Uh, we have to take the letter part off to see, but at least the spy... Yeah! Holy shit! The steel spike is now dull, and I think this managed to prevent the spikes going through. We, we already got some surprises, but this is the biggest surprise of them all, because in this zoo, Steel cap. <laughs> what the fuck? And these have to be from different year. The left and right boot. And now more about today's sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is VPN service that allows you to protect your online privacy and security. And just like on the safety shoes, there is also differences between different VPN services. And I myself use NordVPN because it's really safe. They have no data locking because they are registered in Panama and they use double military grade encryption. So that's about as safe as it comes. And for the ease of use, the program on mobile and computer is really easy to use and they have also really fast download and upload speeds. So go to NordVPN dot com slash hydraulic press and use my code hydraulic press to get 75% off from three year plan and one free extra month. 
that's only 299 per month. And it's risk-free if you don't like it. You have 30 day money back guarantee, so it's free to test. So protect yourself in the workshop and on the internet. That's the lesson of today. Yeah, so I remove part of the bottom of the shoe from both shoes and they look pretty similar and they were about similar to cut. But let's finish off the shoes and also spike nut for 5 million. And here we go. Yep, so did, did it go through? Actually, this time the cheap one lose and expensive wins. This didn't go through. Yep, and as a recap, I would say that the more expensive ones, they are not much safer, but they are a lot more comfortable to wear. So if you don't want to spend a lot, you can buy the cheap ones. But if you are going to wear them a lot, I would use the money on more expensive ones. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this duckling. And it looks really harmless, but like all birds, it can have bird flu. <laughs> so better to deal with it before we get the deadly disease.